हेलो एवरी वन द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज थ्योरी ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस गिवन बाय एल थर्स्टन हिज फुल नेम इज लुइज लियोन थर्स्टन ही गेव हिज थ्योरी ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस कॉल्ड सेवन प्राइमरी मेंटल एबिलिटीज इन द ईयर नाइनटीन थर्टी सेवन आई विल नॉट से दैट ही रिजेक्ट्स स्पीबेंस थ्योरी ऑफ टू फैक्टर rather he extended his theory of two factor according to him intelligent behavior arises from seven primary mental abilities he said that intelligent intelligent behavior intelligence is a cluster of abilities so what are those seven primary mental abilities we will study them these are verbal comprehension verbal fluency numerical ability perceptual speed inductive reasoning spatial visualization and memory he said intelligence is a cluster of abilities these abilities are independent of each other in all mental operations there is one primary factor that is important so first we will study what is verbal comprehension it's very simple for example when the material when the information is presented in front of you in the form of a passage and it is it is asked to you that you have to read this information you have to identify the relevant information you have to you have to find you have to uh, identify the main the ex, do you have to um, extract the main the central idea behind that passage then you are tested on verbal comprehension when you are able to identify when you are able to associate when you are able to uh, find out the central meaning the central idea the main idea behind that passage behind that information then you are high on this factor this is verbal comprehension this is your ability to identify the verbal material this is your ability to understand the verbal information that is it, that is there in front of you tests such as on vocabulary and reading comprehension they are based on this factor verbal comprehension you are able to comprehend you are able to learn the verbal material then you are tested on this factor then second is verbal fluency verbal fluency means how fast how rapid you are able to produce words for example if i say that i will be giving you a word your alphabet that is a and you have to produce words that start from this alphabet then you have to produce and you are given 1 minute you have to produce as many words as you can starting from this alphabet then you are tested on verbal fluency another example and now i am giving you a word the word is transport you have to produce as many words as you can and the time given is 1 minute then you are tested on word fluency how fluent you are how fast you are in producing words in producing sentences then you are tested on word fluency then is numerical ability very simple how comfortable you are with numbers how fast you are in your calculations how fast you are in your addition subtraction your math your uh, multiplication division fractions ratios percentage how fast you are how accurate you are some jobs they require their uh, their employees their their people who are expert who are fast in numerical ability who are fast in this calculations for example tax consulting companies data analysis companies they want their they want their employees to high on numerical ability you have to fast as well as you have to be accurate in your calculations then you are high on numerical ability you are how comfortable you are with numbers this is your numerical ability then is perceptual speed very interesting how fast you process the visual information for example proofreaders what they do when the visual information when some uh, after editing when, for, when information is there in front of them what they do we cannot do as fast as they and how erroneous what they do they visualize the information 
in great detail they find out the mistakes in terms of punctuation in terms of grammar in terms of spelling they found out they find out those mistakes those errors in no time this is the task of proofreader so they are high on which ability they are high on perceptual speed they process the information they uh, they perceive it quite fast they are high on perceptual speed another example can be taken and this kind of uh, this kind of questions they do come in uh, competitive exams suppose a uh, suppose a picture is there in front of you on the left and there are lots of pictures on the right you have to identify which of the uh, picture that is in the right is identical to the left there are lots of pictures at the right and there is one picture at the left you have to identify which of the pictures that are that are at the right is identical to the left you are tested on perceptual speed if you are able to identify the correct picture from the right side then you are high on perceptual speed factor okay next is inductive reasoning what is reasoning you must have given lots of competitive exams or simple exams this this kind of uh, reasoning is very important in those exams what they check they uh, what is reasoning reasoning is a it's a form of thinking it's a thinking in an organized way how how much logical you are how you are uh, are you able to generate new ideas are you able to make logical connection between two statements if yes you are high on reasoning on what is inductive reasoning inductive is from specific to general from specific instances when you are able to general generalize when you are able to reach to some conclusion when you are able to to generate an idea on the basis of specific instances then this is called inductive reasoning when you are able to general generalize on the basis of small simple specific instances specific from specific to general then you are high on inductive reasoning when you see you see sun rises in the east and sets in the west next morning you again you see sun rises in the east and sets in the, in the west you make a generalization you make a principle that sun will continually continue to rise from the east and sets in the west very simple example this is inductive reasoning how much logical you are you are able to make choices you are able to to make decisions according to this principle with the help of inductive reasoning you are able to make choices so this is what we mean by inductive reasoning next is spatial visualization spatial visu visualization means how you are able to understand your space you see your world in two dimensions the image images that are projected on your retina is two dimension but we perceive the world in three dimension what is that third dimension that is the depth that is distance how far one object is from me what is the distance between two objects when you are able to perceive this that is your third dimension and people who are expert in this they are high on spatial visualization we all indulge in this spatial visualization for example very simple example when you are uh, um, organizing when you are organizing your items in your drawer in your wardrobe you are engaging in spatial visualization when a uh, when a tailor is stitching your garment he is engaged in spatial visualization when a when a photographer he is taking a picture at and he and he thinks from his memory that from which angle i should take a picture he is engaged in spatial visualization and professions of professions such as architect interior decoration and uh, professions like uh, what what they do what they are engaged in spatial visualization civil engineering spatial visualization how to how to construct a tunnel how to construct a bridge they are engaged in spatial visualization so if you are uh, if you are high on this 
then you are if you are high on this ability you are high on spatial visualization and last is memory memory is used in all the activities how fast you encode the material how fast you acquire how how well you can store the information and how fast you to you retrieve this is the process of memory you have to encode you have to store a memory for future use and you have to re, you have to retrieve it in the form of recall or recognition when it is required so this is memory memory is the recall is to recall or identify the learned material so if you are able to memorize if you are able to store if you are able to associate if you are able to evaluate if you are able to encode well you are high on this ability you are high on your memory this is what we mean by a thurston's seven primary mental abilities theory for him intelligence is a cluster of abilities and these abilities the seven primary factors they are independent of each other please remember these seven primary mental abilities they are very important and very practical and please stay tuned to my channel because i will be covering important questions related to spearman's two factor theory and thurston's seven primary mental abilities theory that can come in your exam so please stay tuned thank you very much all the best do well bye bye